Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Today I'm going to be doing a video for Capricorn for what is next with the X, okay? This is going to be for the last week of June, but these videos are all timeless, so whenever you watch this, it's going to find you when it's meant to give you these messages. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, Capricorn, what's next with your ex? That's going into such messages. Please give us clear and concise messages. What is next with Capricorn's ex? One more. Okay, give us clear and concise messages, please, and thank you. Protect us always and guide us. What is next with Capricorn's ex? Okay, what is next with Capricorn's ex? with the Queen of Pentacles, crossed by the Five of Wands, Page of Wands. What is next with Capricorn's X? Okay, we have these two that came through. King of Cups, Ten of Wands. What is next with Capricorn's X? Capricorn's X, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the Moon, the Death card, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Capricorn, what is next with your X? Okay, let's see. So we're starting off with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be you. Okay, Capricorn is a pentacle, earth sign person, so since this is a general reading, it's not gender specific, okay? So the focus is you, or if you happen to be involved with, if your ex happens to be an earth sign person, then this queen of pentacles could be Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, okay? It's crossed by the five of wands. The five of wands is arguing... Um, Fighting, conflict, competition, just being petty. Okay, so that's what's crossing you right now. The basis is the Page of Wands. Okay, the Page of Wands is a phone call, text, email, some kind of message. It's communication. Okay. Um, so let's see. It could also be good news coming in. Um... Maybe something word of mouth. Okay. Let's see. Could be something um, sexual. Blunt. Maybe your ex reached out to you and was looking for a booty call. And now you're fighting. Like, how dare you? You know? That could be a possibility. Okay, in the recent past is the King of Cups, which is someone that's in touch with their feelings. Or it could be a water sign person, which is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, this could also be uh, an older person, a family person, like something fa someone family-oriented, or like I said, in touch with their feelings. Okay, so maybe since this is in the recent past, your ex is a water sign person, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, so the vibe I'm getting is, this is you. You're crossed by the arguments. Okay, maybe this person is arguing with you. Maybe they're calling you and causing conflict and arguing with you. Okay, this water sign person that's possibly your ex since they're in the past. Okay, because the basis of this is a phone call. Okay, and there's conflict that's crossing you. Maybe you're conflicted if you should answer the phone, if you should talk to them when they call. That's another possibility. Okay, take what resonates with you and connect the dots and make sense where it fits you. Okay, your thoughts are the Ten of Wands. You're feeling very overwhelmed and burdened. Um, it 
doesn't seem like you really want to talk to this person. You may be done with your ex, even though they're reaching out to you. Okay, in the near future, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And this could be you just staying focused on work. Okay, this is an apprenticeship card as well. It could be work, um, doing a hobby, um, just sticking to, like being dedicated to your work. It could also be working on something. Okay, but it doesn't... I don't know. I'm not getting the feeling that you want to talk to this ex. So I don't want to say this is you guys working on the relationship. Because if you're feeling overwhelmed and burdened and conflicted with their call, you know, it's highly likely that you, you may not be interested. Okay. Even though they're, you know, possibly in touch with their feelings when they're reaching out to you, maybe they're apologizing and, you know, they could have just treated you so awfully or, or did something so horrible that you're like, no, sorry, you're not worth my time. I don't think so. So you're just going to focus on work. It could even be you're working on yourself. You know, a lot of people, when they end a relationship, they need to focus on themselves, get themselves back to where they want to be. Okay. So that could be another thing that you're doing. Okay. And the focus here is the six of cups. This is how you're viewing the situation. So this is the Six of Cups. It could be an ex coming back. So yes, this person, this possible water sign person that's in touch with their feelings is reaching out to you. They're calling you. They're emailing you. They're texting you. Uh, and you don't appear to be interested in this ex. Okay? And your environment or how others are viewing the situation is the moon. Okay? And the moon is deception, lies, fear, insecurity, things hidden in the shadows, heightened intuition you could be having uh, vivid dreams so my feeling is everyone is uh savvy to the fact that this ex did you dirty possibly was lying and deceitful and was a piece of garbage so it's everyone's aware you know it, it shows in your environment hopes and fears is the death card okay this could be an ending or it could be a transformation. So you could be hoping that they go away, that they don't communicate with you and it's over, hoping that they get the message that you're done and uh, you're fearing that they don't get the message, but you're hoping that they get the message, that they understand it's done because you wanna have that transformation to be able to work on yourself, okay? And focus on your work and do you, okay? So that's what you're hoping, that they get the point you're done. The outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and the Wheel of Fortune here is destiny, change for the better, ending of a cycle. Okay, so you're done, Capricorn. You're done. This person burdens you and overwhelms you. You are so done with your ex. Yes, your ex is going to reach out to you, Capricorn, and you're over it. You're doing you. You're saying sayonara. I don't think so. Okay. So that's all I have for you, Capricorn. Peace and love. I will see you in the next video. And don't get too stressed out with your ex. Block them. It's all good. Take care.